getting a heap of, my grandma was saying I get in a heap of trouble. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> Anastasia books the shows. Oh, are, 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 this is the start opening of the show? I don't think so. Oh, you just checking? So let's talk about what was Sonya's uh, power of hit? Oh, I could give me a sheet of paper. I could yeah. draw. Give me some paper, and I could draw you pictures of the girls I used to date. Oh, really? Since I'm an artist, That'd get a tab cool. of paper. Oh, okay, I'll look for one. Hold on. I will, but I'm gonna I'll draw pictures. I mean, what was Sonya like? How were her breasts? Oh, she was big like a brick house. Sonia Rude right. had hot hope blue for in church. She had big, long legs. She was like a Cadillac when it comes to women. She was attractive. Long legs, Did she look slender. Her clothes on or off? Well, we were in church, so we couldn't do any any underground naked nudy 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 goody stuff. But she was built like yeah, you, a brick you only, house. You only dealt with her at church. I dated her out of church. I dated her for two years. She didn't have the heart to tell me she didn't want to be with me anymore. So she ran behind the, sk uh, the skirts of, of Mark Frostbach and said I sexually harassed her and had me kicked out of uh, uh, there and fired as an organist. Oh, out of the church? Out of the church. That's good. All right, tell me about it. Well, women are getting away with sexual harassment, say, accusing pe innocent people of sexual harassing them. You think them. it's a conspiracy? I know it's a conspiracy. Women, can, women and children can get away with anything. I used to be a school teacher. Oh, no, I'm not going to mention him. No, 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 you, you're not going to get me in trouble. No, 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 I don't want to get suspended again. Hey, hey, hey. Are you not filming me now, are you? Well, no. What do you mean? You're not filming me now, are you? No. No, we're not talking about it. We won't talk about it. Let's talk about UFOs. Oh, are you just doing the show now? Uh, we're going to start pretty soon, yeah. But no, I'm not I, 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 I going to say anything against uh, the, those two people. I think the show, I don't know. I don't I'm going to do a show about forgiveness. What about Gail? I mean, if she sees this, do you think you could get in trouble with her? I know I can. I came that close to being suspended from Delphia Cable because Estacia said I asked her out and I came on to her and I didn't. All oh, right. Well, let me sing a song. Oh, I got some. I got to think of some other love songs. I wrote. I don't sing my love songs anymore. Do you have any songs about trains? Oh yeah, I can do some songs. Later. Are you filming me now? Yeah. Not now. I started the show. Right now? You didn't yeah. tell? Me? Are we starting the show now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me you were filming me now. Okay, let's start it over, man. Start it oh. over again. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'd rather have my train here. Oh, I know. We'll do a train show. Okay. I want to do a, this is uh Three train? No, this will be part two. I'm going to do the three ge uh, geniuses show part two. Yeah. About how stuck up women are in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, are you all filming me now? Yeah, we're filming. I'm on TV. You're live. Well, you're not live, but you're. Oh, you're filming me. Boy, it's amazing what they can do with TV with all these special effects. Do you think there's a lot of men in Los Angeles going crazy? Men are going crazy in Los Angeles because of the stuck up women. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, this woman named Mary wanted to be on my show. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Is 
Because you got to start all over again because I want to be professional. Start all over again. Uh -huh. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Start over again. No, start all over again. Read. No, I want to be professional on TV. So start at the beginning. Rewind her all the way to the beginning. You know, I'm. This is the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. We're all. Accepted and known and rejected. We are so blessed by the Almighty God that we have a talented. Dumb what? Again, I'm on the Three Geniuses show. It's it's David Hart that does art, and um, I just wanted to, to tell the people out there that I'm available to date any of you single ladies out there um, uh, that are slender, nobody fat now, send us attractive black or white or Korean woman that's single, that's a musician and artist like me. Hey. Now, how can you expect, I mean, say you don't want any body fat, you don't like anything? Like, I don't, I want slender women. What? I want a slender women. What race do you like? I like vanilla. I like beautiful white women. What about I, I like, coffee? I like beautiful black women too. Chocolate milk. I'm not, I love women. I like the girls. They're beautiful. I also, um, I, I like to date a woman younger than me that I can have a future with. I remember my uh, landlady, Anna Hernandez, would always say, a young rooster, amigo, needs a young hen. That means a young guy needs a young woman. I'm not really dating these old women. I want someone my own age that I can have a family with. I don't want to take the old woman that's going to treat me like a son. You do this, you do that, and come over here. No, I want a young, 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 young girl. I like to date a woman. I'm, well, I'm 40, 45 years young, so I want to date a woman that's between the ages of 21 through 34. That's attractive, not overweight, no children out of wedlock, completely single. Now, um, I do, this is, forgive all you women that have stood me up, given me phony phone numbers, not shown up on the dates. Now I'm talking to you, Mary. Mary, you gave me your phone number at the bus stop and told me that you were going to go out with me. You, you never even returned my pager. But I forgive you. And uh, not to mention Heidi. Heidi out there. Heidi, you must have had some interest in David, Lieber Unger Hart, to leave your return phone number on my answering machine when I gave you my business card saying, David, Lieber Hart, does art, the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show, and that David, it does a puppeteer and a musician. Now, if you didn't want my business card, why did you call me back and tell me that you were interested in dating me as a gentleman and a friend? And I never, ever, 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 ever heard back from you. Hey, we're going to show a clip of your show, okay? Introduce it. Oh, uh, one of the three geniuses is on my show, the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. And this is a, sh a, sh a, sh a, 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 a clip of it. Roll it, buddy, roll it! You didn't even ask my permission to use my show.
You should have asked for my permission, buddy. But go ahead and show it anyway. Is that all you showed you? Your credit? What? Well, go ahead and show it. You already done did it. Are you still rolling the tapes? Oh, Lord God, I will praise thy name with joy in the midst of them. Stop it so they can see what they are. Right for help. When his heart is at peace, he singeth to the name of his God. And from prose works by Mary Baker Eddy, the discoverer and founder of Christian Science. Okay, I'm going to tell you the history about the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. I was very fortunate to have two famous Sunday school teachers, uh, Jim Henson in Washington, D.C. I used to live in Washington, D.C. for a while, was my Sunday school teacher in the Christian Science Church. I also had uh, Bert Stilston from the Chicagoland area and Fraser Thomas from the old Garfield Goose Show. If you all lived in the Midwest, in Chicago, they had a puppet show called Garfield Goose, and Frederick Thomas was, was also a Sunday school teacher at Christian Science. Also, Bert Stilston, that did Kukla, Fern, and Ollie. And uh, they wanted me to do a, uh, a, Jim Henson wanted to do a, me to do a puppet show that was gonna teach kids uh, morals and ethics about Christian Science, and about the Bible, and living right, and doing rightly. So, I at first, uh, I had, uh, was luckily, I had my Sunday school teacher, Ruth Elizabeth Jinx, that was on the board of directors of the Christian Science Church, and Mr. Nate Holton. And Mr. Holton told me, uh, um, you know, it's a labor of love, uh, and, uh, the, and the Christian Science Monitor program ch uh, channel, Christian Science Church used to have their own cable uh, called the Monitor, ch uh, Christian Science Monitor channel. Well, that didn't exist. That was dissolved. And uh, I went on my own with the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. I know there was a lot of old conservative people that said my views were too liberal like teaching kids to say no to racism. Kids should love all people equally, but you know the old conservative people that are parents' age, they, they want that segregation garbage. Should I feel that, that, that later with this, this is the, that this is the year 2000, people need to get their act together and love all people equally and stop that racism shit, because that ain't happening. We're all God's children and we all gotta love one another, no matter if we're black, white, Latino, or Korean. And it's time that, you know, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with interracial dating as long as the two people love each other and they're, they're dating for love and, and commitment and the person is dating for, for a, a long-term relationship. Why aren't there, anyway, these are clips of the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show that one of the three geniuses did with me. You want us to show the clip, clip without having to jump up and down like a, like a grasshopper? Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's a clip of the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. I've been doing the show. I started doing the Junior Christian Science. I've been with I've been with uh, Media One. I I've been with Media One now for 12 years. I got uh, I remember I was with Media One when they were American Cable, and I started doing. I did my first public access show when uh, it was called American Cable with Mike DeGandhi and John Clawfelder down at the, uh, they used to be on Sunset and Bronson. This is in the, in the, in the 1980s. Uh, and then uh, the Media One, it was still, it was American Cable. Then they moved, then American Cable moved to the Fairfax area. It moved to Fairfax near Beverly Boulevard. And there I did the, uh, continued on doing the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show with Mike DeGandhi. He's a wonderful, talented man, uh, Mike DeGandhi, and I have a lot of honor and respect for him. He's, he's had a lot of tolerance and worked hard with me to, to produce real good professional shows. And uh, I take my hat down to him and John Clawfelder. And I also miss uh, Pam Smith who, um, I, and Karen Chalmers down at the South Central. So the show grew from being in the Los Angeles area, grew to being aired in 
um, in uh, Chicago, the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show uh, is now on, it grew it airing in Washington, D.C. Um, um, and then different, different uh, countries have, have asked for the show. The Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show was born and raised in the city of Los Angeles. Now, the reason why my, my Sunday school teacher, as I told you, G, uh, Jim Henson, who did the Muppets in Sesame Street, uh, was my Sunday school teacher in the Christian Science Church. And he wanted me to, uh, to put together a show teaching kids um, ethics and morals and Bible stories and to say no to drugs. So I was, I was struck. So I was a struggling actor, and I wanted to break into showbiz, so I said, well, since I was raised in a Christian science Sunday school, I might as well, hey, get going, go with it. So it's, so I've been doing the show now. A lot of people don't understand it. The conservative people in the church don't understand it because they feel that it's not authorized from them. They feel it's not from their publishing society. They feel that anything that is published through the Christian Science Church can only be exclusively done in Boston, Massachusetts at the Mother Church. Now, I feel that if a person uh, lo uh, loves their religion and they want to share their religion with the world, they should be able to do it. In fact, I feel that the organization should back that individual up. I know, uh, you know, because, um, uh, you know, it's, Jesus says to go into the, uh, the world and preach ye the gospel. Um, and um, well, I was, anyway, uh, I'm also looking for a host for the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. If any of you um, are, um, uh, people out there would like to host my show, you, you can send me a picture and resume uh, 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 to uh, David Unger, Leba Hart. And by the hands of the apostles, uh, any signs... Oh, you're showing more support. clips of the show we did together. Okay, roll the clips. You want to show the clips of the show? Go ahead and roll it. Down. This is Don, one of the Samaria. three geniuses that was a guest on my show. I don't and like it. And preach unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake. Healing and miracles which he did. For unclean... What do you think of that? Well, I feel that it was kind of like sacrilegious. I felt that you should have just been yourself. And, but I... David, David, I find it astounding that you haven't picked up any girls from your show. I mean, you've been I, show going... It's, it's like basically a spin-off of Kukla Fran and Ollie. Well, he was my Sunday school teacher at the Christian Science Church, a uh, guy, uh, Bert Stilston from Kukla, Fred, and Ollie. Was he a chick magnet? Uh, I, he was a very conservative guy. Uh, he was very strict. He would be disappointed b b about my, my desire for uh, being over salty about getting a woman. He was, he was a good Sunday school teacher. He taught me the so love of the Bible. You Got a lot of Demonstrated? No, he was very spiritually minded. He didn't believe in sex out of marriage the way you young people do today. He was very conservative. He believed in you wait until you get married before you had sex. That's the way he taught us in Sunday school. That's the way my grandmother taught me. What's from the old fashioned. Well, I've been celibate since 1994, since Bridget left me for Roberto. But I feel it's good. At least I won't catch sick AIDS. Of the Son, be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgive thee. Now, uh, uh, go ahead and, and keep on rolling the show you did with me. Go ahead. You said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. This is one of the three geniuses that was a guest on the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. I uh, wish he didn't use the glove. I wish he would have been himself and used himself because I don't want to make fun of my religion. I love my religion. I love Christian science very much. I wanted him to just, you know, do it in a comical way to teach the kids, so I don't know uh, about with the gloves. I don't want him using gloves or puppets. I just want him to be a guest on my show. I'll be honest with you. Do trains carry us? Spiritual significance for you, David? Yeah, my first love for the trains was, uh, I, I'm a, well, I was born in the 50s. I was born in 1955. And uh, my first love for the railroad was, I've come from the Midwest, from the Chicagoland area. We had this train that ran on the Chicago L called the Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee Railroad. 
and this was my first love for trains. I used to see it when I was a kid, uh, and I and I got in trouble for taking it as a minor. And then I remember as a kid, they I lived by the Illinois Central tracks on the south side of Chicago, 8136 South Ellis. And I remember in the 50s, they still had it steam science. engines Must that ran by with the F7. Are you going to show, you want to show the cliff for me? Spiritually understand. Okay, go ahead and show the clip of the of, of the show. Are you going to show the clip, or you want me to do the host the show? What what what? You, you can't serve two masters, as Jesus says. Okay, I wrote a song about it. Now let me finish explaining the history about the Chicago North Shore. Now the Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee Railroad is an interurban. Now General Motors and and Firestone Cars. The dealers got rid of all the inner urban streetcars across the country, and they're bringing them back with the blue line and the red line. But uh, in the 50s and the 60s, people, uh, General Motors, wanted people to buy cars, so they bought out the Chicago North Shore, the Pacific. They did it in L.A. L.A. used to have a train called the Red Car, called the Pacific Electric that ran from Long Beach to Los Angeles, that ran from San Bernardino and Redlands to Los Angeles. And General Motors got jealous and bought it out because they wouldn't people buy cars. Well, they brought them back with a red line and the blue line. Well, the same thing happened in Chicago. They had this train called the Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee Railroad that ran on the same tracks as the Chicago CTAL uh, in the, in the uh, 50s. And I saw this train and I fell in love with it, just like I fell in love with an attractive woman. I fell in love with the Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee Railroad. I mean, it was a classy train. It were red and green cars. They came in on the L. They were streamliners. They were very, you know, a good looking train. And um, I asked my mother, because my mother always only took me on the Jackson Park and Inglewood L. That was the Chicago CTA that ran from uh, uh, they, they call it now the Green Line, but when I was growing up, it was called the B, the B Train, the Jackson Park and Inglewood L. And I, when my mother would catch it at Cottage Grove and 63rd Street in Chicago, you people from back east know, and the Midwest where that's from. And we would ride it all the way down to 12th Street. When it got, when it got to 12th Street, the North Shore cars would park on each side of the L structure and where the CTA would go underground, and then if you would go downtown to the Chicago Loop, you'd see the Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee Railroad would run on the L structure all the way to Howard Street and then to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I wrote a song about this train I liked. Let's sing it. Okay. Long, long, long time ago, I rode on the North Shore Railroad Long, long, long time ago, uh, oh, it didn't have to fold. Uh, I was just a little boy when trains became my joy. When I went up to luxury, uh, all the way up to Milwaukee, so Long, long, long time ago, uh, I rode on the North Shore Railroad. Long, long, long time ago, uh, oh, it didn't have to fold. I would catch it at Washington, Wabash, and Adam, and ride to Howard Street, right out on the countryside. Down on Wisconsin Street, oh, a long, long, long time ago, I rode on the North Shore Railroad. Long, long, long time ago, oh, it didn't have to fold. Now the cars and buses have taken the inner urbans off the track. One day the North Shore will be back with all its luxury to Milwaukee. So long, long, long time ago, I rode on the North Shore Railroad. Long, long, long time ago, oh, it didn't have to fold. He was just a little boy. When trains became his joy, when he rode into luxury, 
all the way up to Milwaukee, so long, long, long time ago, he rode on the North Shore Railroad, long, long, long time ago, oh. Now I want to tell you the story, I, they, they cut me off, but I, my grandmother gave me car fare and the, uh, I found out the Chicago North Shore Railroad was going to go out of business and my uh, grandmother gave me car fare on my birthday to ride the North Shore. So um, I didn't, they didn't know that it was against the law for minors to cross state line uh, and this was back in 62. So my grandmother, um, uh, uh, Carrie Schroeder, gave me car fare to ride the North Shore and I took it by myself and uh, I was uh, 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 wandering around in Milwaukee, Wisconsin uh, as a minor at eight years old and the policeman said, where are you, you, where are you from? I says, well, I'm, uh, I said, well, I, you know, I told him I was, uh, I was just visiting Milwaukee. I got put in jail for crossing state line as a minor. So my parents had to come and get me from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But my mother said, just put David back on the North Shore train and I'll come and meet him at Howard Street in Chicago. And then the next, the next winter, the North Shore was gone like it was never there in the first place. Uh, but I'm hoping someday I, um, uh, that it'll come back and run from Milwaukee to Chicago because it was a wonderful railroad. They had a train called the Electroliner that the people in Japan copied the idea from and made the bullet train. Hey, Even, hey, what do you think about the phallic nature of trains? What do you mean by that? Well, Freud, like Freud would say, they're like phallic. You know, well, I like the trains better in the 50s and the 40s because those trains had class. They ran on time. They were neat and clean. Right, the show's almost over. You got your last things to say to the masses? Uh, any single women out there that would like to date a handsome guy like David Unger, leave my heart. Give me a call at 213-381-0791. Now I'm looking for attractive women of any race. An attractive blonde or attractive black girl, slender, petite, kind, doesn't smoke or drink, doesn't have kids out of wedlock, and is loyal to dating one guy at a time. Hey, Dave, would you take a trip on the train with them? i take them on the Amtrak anywhere they want to go. Um, anyway, you want, I'm going to sing my close sung song called... I'm looking for a girlfriend, there must be someone for me. I'm looking for a girlfriend, there must be someone in the world for me. They say there's somebody for everybody, there's got to be someone for me. A single girl that will not... Nice show. I want a copy of this. I want a copy of the original Three Genius Society it with you. Oh, okay. You yeah. never made me copies of these shows. Now, I gave Don two or three copies of the shows he did with me. Yeah. Yes, I did.